right, good morning, Sunday round coming at us. We are playing today. We are going to try out Grey Wolf. I don't remember if I've ever played this one or not. So we're going to play it. A uh, couple notes for it. Um, not feeling 100% on arthritis, but we'll get there. Need us a little warm up, I feel like. Um, and we are going to play with putting today. So I'm on version 1 point, or 0.17. That one pretty good to start. Just some of the stuff I have to do for my arthritis, I have to just, I always hit a fade when I got the arthritis going. So um, we're playing on point one seven. I did spray down. If you saw our video earlier in the week, I did do a quick spray of everything. So we are going to try the putting, see how that all works. This will be my first real run through of an entire round after doing it, but I haven't had any knee issues, so knock on wood, the whole week. And the nice thing is, playing this round, it smells great in here because I did just spray it down. That was a six iron right there. I took a little more for that, for that uh, uphill, and I'm not going to get the putt on the first one, which is a bummer. Not really, but, you know, we're trying to see how it putts. And uh, we'll go from there. That was a good start. So let's see here. And I'm hoping the putting works because my goal is to play on the, the online events, but you have to putt. This one's way uphill, so trying to hit it hard. Just get it up this hill. So, let's see, we're going to have 170-ish again, about the same distance as the last one. It's a little farther, a little more uphill, so this 6-iron, I'm going to hit a 6-iron again, just because 5 is too much, I think. So we're going to try and hit it a little harder, see if we can get all the way up there. The last one I just hit kind of smooth. I mean, uh, whew. I hope that's uh, how I play golf. Actually, we were on our trip. The, I think the last time I really played golf, um, you know, I played a Sunday round was before my trip. And then uh, went on the trip. I know everybody's excited to know MVP of the trip right here, meaning after the net, we play everything net. So. Uh, you know, so all the high handicappers and everybody feels like they have a chance. So we do everything net. We was able to take the net by one, which is exciting because I always feel some pressure when you're going against the 14 handicaps and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so that was good. Driver here, way uphill again. So just going to get in play. I doubt I'm going to be able to reach this in two. Tell you what, the numbers on the driver, let's check that out. I mean, I don't feel 100%. Spin's still high. It's definitely still high. So I was just getting a little curious there because that ball didn't go too short. Um, you know, what I found when I was outside, you now this was in Alabama. It was pretty hot, pretty humid. Um, and I have the range finder that has, like, the humidity and stuff built in. And so it was telling us based on all of that, you know, it was playing a good, you know, six, seven yards longer. And I was probably hitting it around 270 to 280 out there. That was kind of where my average was. Maybe got one once in a while farther if I really crushed it. Going three wood here. I lost it a little right, I think, but really trying to hit the front part of the green or leave an easy chip. That was the goal. Kind of was thinking I would get a little farther than that, but I didn't. So that's, uh, that's all right. And uh, so we'll see what we got going on. All right. Let's see here. What do we have? We're going to look at 40 yards. I'm going to actually do a little experiment here and uh, see what happens. I'll show you what that experiment is at the end. 
You're in, people will probably laugh at me for this one, but we're going to do a little one with the Apple Watch. So 40 yards uphill. Play at about 44. Ah, I didn't catch it all. Ah, good thing I smoked it. So, all right, we got our first putt, I think, right? 19 feet, down 11. All right, moment of truth. I've actually really enjoyed how the putting has worked with the new update. I think they did a phenomenal job as far as all the mechanics of everything. Like how things feel and like that, you know, I think it's more realistic than ever on the putting as far as like, hey, if I hit at this distance, we were having that ghost plus issue. I'm not sure what that is. I guess you'd have to ask the flight scope, but it just felt like, I don't know if they were making the unit more sensitive or you know what? I think a lot of people got super cold and static electricity starts to build when it's colder and everything's drier. So uh, I've been told a humidifier is a good option in those scenarios, but you know, it was right around when like, you know, all that cold weather and stuff was going through and it was cold here. This one's way downhill. So we're just trying to bomb it up and send it. Well, this is fun. There's our 300 yard drives. We just have to be down 200 feet. Um, but you know, that, that starts to make sense a little bit because of how dry, you know, that was, and everybody was getting their units around that time. And you're starting to think, okay, yeah, it's really, really dry out and static starts to build. And I wasn't having an issue until recently. Again, I think that's just kind of what happened. So. All right, 120, we're gonna try to hit this about 110. 110 was the goal. I don't think I hit it hard enough. Or I did, bite. Or I did good. I will say the thing I did super well um, on our trip was kind of that 120 to 150 range. And even like seven iron, six irons, like I hit some, I felt like I made more birdies when I was hitting like a six iron in my hand or like a seven iron. I was absolutely killing the game. I loved it. Um, so that was way better for me on the trip. What did I do? I did not hit wedges very well. Um, my short game wasn't good either. That was kind of to be expected, but I did not, you know, like 90, 100 yard wedges. I really struggled uh, making contact. I had a lot of uneven lies. So I struggled there. So that's stuff I'm just going to pay attention to, especially when I go outside as we go. All right, way downhill. Let's give it a ride again. That's our goal. See if we can get this one in two. We should be able to at this length with this much downhill. I uh, just got in the rough, I think. Yeah. I don't have the terrain penalty on, though. So, But that hurt me a little bit on the roll there, I think. All right, 203. I love how it tries to tell me to lay up. Yeah, we're not laying up. 186, 188 there, down 30. I'm going to hit a 5 iron. I hit it really good. It might have to sit. Actually, I know it had to sit. I absolutely nuked that thing. <laughs> I tried to hit it. I didn't need to hit it that hard. And I just nuked it. <laughs> and I flushed it. So downhill. I feel like this course is at elevation for sure. So bad call there. I should have kind of learned a little bit there. All right, anyway. 42 up 12. Trying to just chop it out and on but I didn't get up the hill oh you can tell this is not a place to be in real life stop don't go across the path or stay on the path okay I've also noticed my chipping being really good you know just uh, a thought there too my chipping's been pretty good uh, meaning in here not outside 
but in here that was a pretty good chip as far as just the way it reads get inside 10 get inside it's gonna be real close it's rolling kind of away I'm right on the edge the suspense oh I got it nine nine that was luck that thing was so close all right 180 downhill some crazy stuff it's either an eight or a seven I'm gonna go seven be a little smoother and I'm okay with being in the middle of the green here that's gonna be I think a little short and right uh, it's definitely right not short hit it hit it okay I left it out there just hard to judge these slopes I mean what do you do for 50 downhill all right down a foot and a half, foot and two so we're gonna go this is pretty fast so it should take off and keep creeping to inside ten. Oh, I just didn't hit it too much respect those are the tough ones on the sim tough ones in real life too but really the tough ones on the sim all right 10 footer felt like I hit it online there we go see I really am really enjoying the putting I think they're doing good with that so flight scope if you watch this don't change too much it's doing pretty good all right 232 downhill uh, everything's going pretty far so I'm actually gonna lay it up with this try to hit one you know 220 hit that pretty good hit that pretty good that's gonna be going yeah we're definitely at elevation for sure that ball's going out there good amount so one twenty four going pretty full fifty hit it pretty good this was where I really excelled on our trip with shots like that was just when I was kind of a little bit more full 50 degree pitching wedge nine iron I was really really dialed in hit a lot of really good shots and actually by the end of the trip was actually kind of disappointed if I would hit it to like you know 15 20 feet because I was feeling so good about it which is fine but I wouldn't freak out too much about that but I was you know I was very happy with it all right going a little up here driver just going to take it pretty straight, probably fade a little bit. I think I overfaded it a little too much. A little, no, no, actually going to be just fine. There's the little shot clock thing. I know some people have asked about that, where they have slowed it down just a touch, which I get why they're doing that if they're trying to make it connect better. For me, connection hasn't been that big of an issue um, but mainly I've, I've got a better I, I, you know I went and got a good Wi-Fi connector and my computer and they're only about eight feet apart as we're doing that so all right a little nine iron here actually just a good nine iron pulled it catch kick right Pulled it. Ah, had the club too. If I don't pull it, it's the right distance. All right, what do we got? 40 feet. A little pitch. Might have chunked it a little bit. Get inside there. There we go. Kind of nice to be playing back with putting for sim purposes because I think it's easier. You gotta just get the ball inside 10 feet and you're guaranteed the up and down. 
you know, when you're hitting a wedge, you kind of feel like, you know, if I do that too. Um, downhill a little bit. We're going to hit a smooth eight here. Smooth one. Try to start it maybe you know, just right at it. Maybe a little draw. Oh, no. I smoked it. Get down. Oh, I hit that so good. That was a... Honestly, that was a phenomenal shot. I love that. Started a little right with a little draw. I just hammered it. Just, oh, and it's out of bounds. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. All right, do we go nine, I guess? And try to do the same. I hit that one good, too. It's a little left. Yep, I just misclubbed. Oh, that's deep too. Breaks. That was deep too. Elevation. So I really misclubbed the first time. Really misclubbed. And now we're struggling. A little pitch here. Oh, that was tough. You can see, though, I like how the pitches are reading. We haven't had any of the, you know, the high readers or anything. So, oh, I thought it was ready for me. 30-footer. I'm going to play this. Something I've started to do on my short chips is do what Tiger does, which is play like a little bit of a draw feel. And that's keeping me nice and shallow on the chips. Stay there. So I'm not chunking it. I did that worked a little bit for me out in Alabama. Ah, bad hole. That hurts. I'm good for one of those. That's the. You want to know how I didn't go pro? That would be it right there. Make a bunch of birdies and then throw it away. All right, 246 downhill. Might have a chance at this one, depending on how this drive goes. Try to start it out right. See if we can get a draw. That one was just hit really straight. That was hit good, though. That was hit very good. Yeah, keep going. Might have a chance. I think we'll definitely have a chance. This will be a fun course to play. All right, driver, three wood. See if we can catch it. I think we can reach the front for sure. Hit it pretty good. I hit it pretty good. Carry into the middle is the goal. Actually, get down. Oof, that thing was hit really well. That thing was hit pretty good. 29. All right, let's chip one in. Oh, sit. Sit. Don't go outside 10. It did. I juiced it, which I like. You can see I knew immediately I hit that too hard. And, uh, you know, and that's what you want. You want it to be real. And so it went too hard. So, all right, let's roll one in. Stay up. I knew I missed it left, too. I hit it left of my spot. All right. That was a disappointing... That's a disappointing part. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Here's the dilemma, though. This driver's too much. 100 feet downhill at this altitude? We got to go to the three wood. The way this is playing, we got to go with this guy. Oh, I hit it good, too. Cut. Yeah, I hit 
cut a little. That's all I got on this club. Oh, I wish I could hit it that far. I think, I mean, I, I, again, I don't know where we're at. This is way in the mountains. But that's fun. Little pitch, 33. Man, my pitches have been terrible. Wasting it, hitting 340 yard three woods. I feel like Rory and I, then I chip like Rory. Sorry, Rory, but it's true. You know it too. First kind of look at a longer one. And again, I, I've practiced these a little bit. I felt like they've been pretty solid to putt with. I've really enjoyed it. Beautiful. 144. Well, pitching wedge is way too much, but I don't think gap wedge gets there. So we're going to choke down on this pitch and smooth it and see what we get. Stretch. Yeah, these are tough ones. The, those short irons are tough because, you know, because they're coming in so high. You don't really take advantage of, you know, downhills and stuff like that. They just kind of float more than anything. So I always struggle with those. All right, a little bunker. Try to get out. That was hit pretty good. Okay, got the par. Needed that. I actually played my bunker shots really well. I think actually working on them in here, you know, working on my technique off of this turf helped because I played some really good bunker shots. While we were there, uh, yeah, we'll try it. We have, we can't go too far right, so this ball has to cut. Oh, well, it's gonna cut. Got a. Little, I'm wondering if I got lucky or if it was just, if it did make it around it. Couldn't really tell. Definitely was cutting though. 158. Where are we at? A little uphill, but I'm afraid of going long on everything. So we're going to go nine. Just a good one. Pretty good there. I mean, I, I guess not really that good. It's 50 feet, but uh, kind of gun shot. I'm going over at the moment, as you saw on that par three, 50 feet up two. We get to try this long one. Let's see, is that going to read? No read. That's okay. I kind of had the ball off a little on the side there. Get that more in the middle. Okay. Well, there's a first for that. This is where I wish they had. They they don't have it on the PC version anymore. They took away the the recalibrate button. I feel like these are the times you need it, where you just want the thing to reset. Oh, I'm on the fairway. That's why. That's why. I thought I was on the green. So that's my bad. I haven't played in putting in a while, I guess. 50 feet. Up this hill, gonna bump it. There we go. So, all right, makes sense. I didn't hit it hard enough. 
uphill. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Four eighty nine, four ninety, uphill, par five. All right, we got to get back under par. You're four under par. Ah, brutal. Two seventy seven. All right, we're gonna try to fade one. Wide open fairway, so we're going to try to play a fade, cut off a little yards, give ourselves a chance. I like that one. I hit that one good. That's the type of fade I like to hit. Kind of a, a more of a powerful fade up this hill. Let's see. All right, I'm going to try this up on that. I'm going to leave it up there on the right because I think that's where I'm going to end up and be pitching from. And uh, pitching it down. Let's see. I mean, I might get up there. I mean, I might have made it, but I was playing more for the next one. So we got 44 yards. Forty-four. That's not far. That's not hard enough. I just clanked it a touch. Oh, brutal, brutal round. All right, seventeen. Get there. Okay. Where are we at here? Where are we at? What hole are we on even? 15, par 3. We're going to go pitching wedge. Get a full pitching wedge. Hit it good. Be enough. Bite back. Come back. Pretty good shot there. I'll take it. All right, let's roll one in. Oh, I didn't hit it. Or did I? Or I pulled it. I didn't hit it online, I should say. Ugh. Let's go. 16. What do we got? Ooh, another one. Oh. Let's have fun. Although I could probably try three wood on this one. Because three wood goes farther in here. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to try it. Oh, no. Got to go. I'm, I did not hit it. Get on that other fairway. Give me a look. All right. Didn't get it. Probably should have went driver. I was trying to hit that too hard. Trying a little too hard on it. Uh oh. Now we gotta go 54. Because I need to get up and over. And I think we'll get there with this. So it's up and over. Don't go too far. Yeah, if one thing, I haven't done a great job of adjusting yardages, I haven't kind of figured out how far it's playing. So, if I had to grade anything on this one, that's the big thing. A little 
28 footer a little bit down and I've also left myself some brutal putts these slider downhiller things so let's see this one will go three wood because of the way this dog legs that good I needed that on the last one that one was ripped that one was hit good 140 down the hill so we're gonna try that little sawed off wedge choke down Hit it good. That one I hit better. But I still think I'm short. Yeah, just big bounce. Roll on. Nope. Hit it good. I just didn't hit it. But we got we should be able to get should be able to handle this. I think so. Maybe a little hard. See how I like it? Those are the ones that get in. Go in. Oh, foot short. Um, those are the ones where we used to get those high readers, you know? I almost, you know, I kind of almost come to expect it. And then you get that where it's like, oh, it actually looks pretty good. I'm playing a little pitch and run. You know, things like that. So I kind of like that. All right, one to go. So, I mean, honestly, other, you know, other than user error on that one where we couldn't get the putt, because I wasn't on the green. I think it's worked. Uh, I, don't, I think it's been pretty flawless this round. So good shout out from, again, I want to make sure he gets his credit, Tim Griever for the recommendation. Reminded me about my days with the, uh, with needing the, the spray. This is a nine iron going. I think I got to hit it harder. Yeah, I just didn't hit it all. It was uphill a little too. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, this has been enjoyable. The only, I mean, I think, you know, last frontier is the driver. Can we get that, that spin down? And, you know, we've got a pretty solid little thing here. Pretty solid unit. Let's see, 55 footer. Felt like I hit that pretty solid. Get going. Oh, man, that hit the brakes up there. I don't honestly, I don't know what my green speeds are at. It's been so long since I putted, and I think I did an update. So I don't know if it's the same. All right. I'll be so upset if I shoot over par. We're getting it there. Oh, there's one. Let's try that again. I jinxed it. What did I do? You know what? I got a weird thing happening. There they go. I got a weird thing that just happened on my computer, though. So I'm wondering. Let's see. It's not ghost launching. My computer, just something flashed. I'm not sure if uh, something weird happened there with the computer, actually, because that's so random. You know, if you get those, let me know. But that felt good. Go in. There we go. Save it. Yeah, I took two mulligans there, but. That was weird. I, I know that was weird with that, but my computer did something. I'm going to have to check the camera, too. I'm not sure if the camera is still on because uh, something weird happened. So, yeah, other than that, really, really fun, really good. But that was a weird end to a really otherwise really good round. So let me know if you have questions or comments.